Hi everybody, hi again. It's my partner, Jacoby. What's up? Uh, he's holding Casper. He was in, Casper was in the last video I made. Mm -hmm. And so in this video, we are going to show you how to set up a snake cage. Uh, warning, this is a 20 gallon cage. So if you have anything bigger or different, sorry. And it might not apply. Smaller would be. I mean, you can apply everything to bigger cages. You just can't apply it to smaller cages. Exactly. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so first thing you're gonna need is. The first thing you're gonna need is a bag of the rest of our jelly juice or sand. Sand, 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 good too. He he says he's doing. I use red to bark because uh, Casper is a burrower. He brought burrower, burrower, burrower. And then you're just gonna need the normal stuff like a water bowl. Woo! And if it's one of these kinds, you're gonna want to tape the bottom. You want to tape the bottom so that you can't get in there. He made that mistake. He made that mistake a couple of times without taping the bottom. Okay. Next, you're going to need a high perm to hide in, a little tree perm to climb in, and then some plants for an also to hide in. And maybe some decoration. So yeah, let's get this set up. Okay, so first you're going to want to put, put in your water bowl after you put in your bedding, of course. Put in your bedding first. If it's a burrower, if it's a burrower, uh, you would like three to four inches. If it's not a uh, one and two, two, one, 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 one or two, two will be fine for you. Yeah. So first you're gonna want to put in the water bowl. We're gonna put it over in this corner on the cool side of the tank here. Yeah. Then you want to put in his cave. You're gonna want to put in his cave. I don't necessarily love these caves or anything. I'm not putting down. It, he, I use it because. I just personally don't like them. I'm going to put this in the opposite corner under the hot side so he can bask in it. And then we're going to put this right in the middle. And we know it's really loose and it could be bad, but we're going to fix it later today. So we need to be in okay. Then, Then your big plant, you want to put your big plant in first. And you want to put the small one in the middle. We're going to put this one in behind the tree, or in the tree area to make it look like the tree is kind of alive and stuff. And then next we're going to put this one in. We're not quite sure where we're going to put this one in. Uh, I don't know. So we're going to put that one in the far back by the water. Just a second. Yeah, there. Yeah. So, so that's on the far back. And then this will be this decoration probably in the middle. Or probably right above. Yeah, yeah, and the, over yeah. here. So, yeah. So then, yeah, so I'll grab them. Put them over here. So I can take them out of that real quick. Come on, Casper. Probably go to that under and burrow. Yeah, looks like he's burrowing down at his tree. So since before, before we take off, we're going to talk about lighting and what's it? The screen. Now this is a. Okay, this is a 20-gallon screen. Uh, screen lid. Uh, I light. Uh, I like these with the snakes because they slide in and lock into place. Like these. <laughs> they lock into place. These are good for snakes because snakes can get out of pretty much everything. Yes, they are just 
can't find it. Now this, this is just a heat lamp. I usually just use heat lamps because my snake stays by a window. And since it stays by the window, I don't need a UVB lighting. He's not by the window right now because he's at my house. Exactly. So you just put that on. I put that over this, the rock, because he could bask on it. And that's how you set it up. Please comment and subscribe. Yeah. Mm -hmm.